Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Marisa and Tia. Go ahead and subscribe, girl. Become a part of the gang, because I would love to have you here. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. I wanted to talk to you guys about the importance of scripting. So I did make a video previously on my method of scripting, but however, I decided to come back with a new video. That that video got so much traffic, so much love, so hey, why not do it again? I know about scripting and how you can transform your life, how scripting impacts every aspect of your life, how you can literally, <laughs> literally transform any part of your life that you are not satisfied with or that you're unhappy with and you just want to see change then scripting may be a good option for you so you might want to stay to the end of this video so you can get all my secret tips that i don't give you right away at the end i know some of you are asking what is scripting like you've never heard of scripting and you don't really know how it correlates when it comes to manifesting i have to make this video to let you know what scripting is what it's all about and how you can use it to your advantage i do feel like scripting is a forgotten tool it's mostly slept on because people they just don't know the power that it has Scripting is a language it's a means of communicating a series of commands and when executed properly you can see the results literally transform and manifest itself into your life so how do we script what exactly do we need to do what are the tools if necessary to script so i would say that you need to go old school okay get your number two pencil get you some parchment paper some brown lunch bag paper you know what we used to carry back in the day get you that tear a piece of it make sure it's long enough for what you have to write if you don't have that on hand you can definitely use like regular paper what you're going to do is you're going to write what it is that you desire in this present tense in this present moment this moment right here not in the future okay because the future exists right now you're going to write what it is that you want you're going to be specific you're going to be concise and you're going to get straight to the point disclaimer i would like to let you guys know that this isn't a game this isn't for play this is serious business make sure that you are manifesting exactly what you want make sure you reflect on what it is that you are commanding the universe to give you you have to be in the right mindset to receive so make sure that you are ready make sure that you are ready to receive because some things you may not be ready for some things you think that is a blessing or can be a blessing in your life turns out to be the exact opposite so know what it is that you want make this sound choice today because life is about choices make a choice stand firm on it don't dabble back don't double back make sure you know exactly what it is that you desire secondly what you're going to do is you really have to find your own way of writing this however this is what i would write i would write dear universe at the top i have millions of followers subscribers and supporters who i serve as a mean to heal them with my words with my story and through that healing i am able to serve people and i can fulfill my destiny by making a difference i fulfill my destiny by making a difference and i am so happy and so grateful that i took the action that I needed to take to live out my destiny. Now that is something that I will write. You have to really figure out what it is that you desire, what it is that you want. Say you want a car. Say you want a car. So you will write, I am so happy and grateful now that I have my brand new blue 2020 Toyota Corolla boom okay so you see how it was very specific I said it was blue I said it was a Toyota Corolla and I said it was a year 2020 you want to get as detailed as possible about it so that you get exactly what it is that you want because you can say 
I am so happy and grateful now that I have a Corolla. However, it's not 2020. <laughs> it's not 2021. It's broken down. It doesn't drive right. Like, you want to make sure that you're very specific because the universe has a funny way of giving with you what you want, but not giving you exactly what you asked for. So be specific. Know what it is that you want. And the best way to start is with, I am so happy and grateful now. Because gratitude shifts the energy. Gratitude opens the door for more opportunities to come into your life. Gratitude equals abundance. Because when you're grateful for something, <laughs> I don't know if you guys hear me, man. When you are grateful for something, God is saying, wow, look at her. Look at him. They barely even have anything or nothing at all, but yet they are so grateful. So it's so important that you wake up with a grateful mindset. It's so important that you wake up earlier than you should so you can get in that state of meditation so you can thank God. Thank God for your day. Or whoever you pray to, you give them thanks. And you start your day with gratitude. So positivity is welcome. Love is welcome. Inspiration is welcome. Everything that is positive, everything that has positivity attached to it, you welcome it with open arms because of gratitude I know some of you are saying probably to yourself if you have tried scripting and scripting hasn't worked for you if scripting hasn't worked for you there's one reason why and it is the only reason it's not because you didn't use the right pencil it's not because you didn't use the right paper it's because you had a fear and you had a thought you had a feeling that you were undeserving. You had a fear that something that you desire to have is unattainable. And that's the worst thing that you can do to yourself is tell yourself that you are unworthy. That's the worst thing you can do to tell yourself is, well, people around me don't have, I never seen anyone else succeed. So I guess I won't either. That's the worst mentality to have. It's a victim mentality and it's the worst thing to have. You got to break down those blocks. Because that's all they are. Space holders. Space holders. Telling you that you aren't worthy enough. Telling you that you can't do it. That you won't make it. And the reason why these blocks are placed there. It's because of the environment that we grew up in. And it's because of a lack of self-esteem and confidence in our own abilities. And it's because we don't wake up and make a choice. Today I'm going to be better. Today I'm going to do this. I'm going to start my diet today, right now. I'm going to work out more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you got to change your mindset. And it's not an overnight thing. It's some, not something you just say, okay, I'm going to change my mindset. And then two days later, you're back to thinking the same. You're back to acting the same. Changing your mindset is a permanent decision that no matter what, Every day, this is my routine. No matter what, every day, this is what I'm going to do. Changing your mindset has to be a habit that you embody. You wake up and you brush your teeth because you know you have to do it. Because your breath is going to stink. Because you're going to build plaque, cavities. So you need to wake up and say, I am doing this. And it's not something that you think about doing. It's something that you just do. It's natural. It's not something that you force yourself to do. It's not something that you have to remind yourself to do. It is you. And it's what you do as a behavior. So when it comes to eliminating that fear so that you can script your reality, you have to work on yourself. And you have to get to the root issue of what is holding you back. And can't nobody really do this for you but you you can you can find someone to confide in you can go to therapy i definitely encourage that because that's a healing process 
and through that healing process you can start to put together patterns of decisions that you've made of choices that you made and how it wasn't conducive to your growth and once you can recognize those choices in men those choices in women those choices in eating those choices in not working out angry those choices of not giving back those choices of waking up sad once you can connect the dots and see that your choices led you up to this exact moment where you feel unfulfilled that is when you steal your power back that is when you recognize you that's when you can say and look in the mirror and say I am accountable no one else it's no one else fault it's my fault but the beauty about it is that in that moment you heal in that moment you recognize in that moment you can make a difference in that moment you can change your entire life and get what you want do what you want be what you want you have to go harder you have to go harder than the people that surround you because people are completely fine with being average and people are fine with being mediocre but if you work a little bit harder than them they're going to call you great and they're going to say what is it that she did what is it that he did it's because you went a little bit harder you strived a little bit more you decided not to be average you decided not to be mediocre because you know that there is no that there is nothing that is fulfilling in being average there's nothing fulfilling in being mediocre because you have a purpose and through healing you will find your purpose through recognizing the patterns and the mistakes you made and the choices you made and the things you went through you will find your purpose we have talents and we have we have creativity but we we sometimes mute those blessings that we were born with because we have so much going on. We gotta go to work, we gotta pay bills, we got kids, we got a boyfriend, girlfriend, giving you drama, friends, drinking, smoking, doing whatever, partying. So our creativity is knocking at the door. Our talent is ringing the doorbell. But you can't hear them at the door because you are so involved with everything else. That is why it's so important that, go up just a little bit earlier so you can have a sound mind. So you can just be one with your thoughts. When Before you go to sleep, be in a complete darkness and just hear yourself. What, do you, what does your heart say? What, what does your heart say? What do you truly want out of life? And once you can work on the roadblocks and the fear and the things that, you, that held you back for so long. That's when you can really decide, okay, this is what I want. This is what I know I deserve and I am worthy. That's when the affirmations come into play. I am worthy. Tell yourself that. I have a mirror trick that I just published on my Instagram channel. So if you're not following me, make sure you follow me. I'll include my social media in the description below. I included a mirror trick that will help alter your reality. That will help alter your mindset. And it's the power of I am and looking at yourself in the mirror. Because sometimes we don't see ourselves the way we should see ourselves. So you got to look yourself in the mirror. You got to tell yourself that you are worthy, that you are beautiful, that you are strong, that you are independent, that you are healed, that you are happy. Because no one else is going to tell you this. No one else is going to stand in front of you and give you these positive affirmations. You got to do it for you. It's called self-love, self-care. And once you learn to do that, everything becomes a tool for you to release that creativity, for you to command your will into, into this reality. Because it already exists, but time just hasn't caught up with you yet. So you got to command it, not ask for it, not beg for it, not whine for it, command it. This is what I deserve. I am so happy and grateful now that I have, that I am, that I will, that I am. And once you start to script, do it three times a day. Do it three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times at night. That's the 369 method. 
and um, I will include the description of the details of the lady who came up with the 369 method in the description and you can also do um 3 by 33 5 by 55 you can do whatever this is creation create whatever your desire is to have okay write it feel it see it be it wake up and be that person that you say you want to be wake up and feel that way you want to feel wake up and do those things that you want to do you lack nothing. You have everything. The universe is so abundant. But you got to go and get it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more information on scripting, just leave a comment below. And I will make sure that I answer all of your questions. And I give you the best tips ever. So as promised, we are at the end of the video. And I wanted to give you guys one secret tip that I use when I script. So the secret that I use to script is once I am done scripting, I place that paper underneath my pillow and I sleep on it and this has definitely helped me to become more present and get everything that I desire I have manifested many of things through scripting and I'm not done yet to make this fun I want you guys to script and send me your scripts and um, I want to see what you guys are trying to manifest and I want to make sure that I'm giving out those beautiful blessings and I'm affirming everything that it is you desire because you deserve it. What to do is send it to my Instagram, Marisa and Tia. Just send me a DM and you guys, I'm, I'm praying for you that you get exactly what you deserve, that you get everything that you desire because you deserve it and you're going to get it. So don't let nobody tell you different. <laughs> But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I love you guys so, so, so much. Thanks for always supporting me and rocking with your girl. And until then, I will see you in my next video.